Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is Winter Brawn. This is from the Lost Coast Brewery. And they're out of Eureka, California. Eureka! And it is an English brown ale. I'm coming in at 6.50 ABV. The, uh, the beer is a winter serving from these guys. So it is a seasonal beer from them. If you can get their, their beers in your area, you should be able to get this one this time of year. It is a winter beer. The food pairings for this is the cheeses are the earthy and the camembert, Fontina, the nutty, the Asiago, the Colby, the Parmesan, and the meat for this one is going to be pork and the grilled meat. Glass bar is a pint, Becker Stein, a mug, about anything you want to pour it in, just pour it into something. And uh, being at 6.50 ABV, uh, it's going to keep for a while. I mean, you'd you be able to keep this one. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to keep it more than a year, because it's going to come back out again next year, hopefully. So let's see what we got. By the way, anybody still looking for it? I've still got a couple of these knives. That knives. Openers left. Looks like a knife. The video's posted there. If you know any more information, or just post a comment, I'll... Give you a link or give you the info. This beer pours a very dark tea colored, cola color, very red ruby colored, very uh, very dark bronze. Not much of a head. Didn't pour it super aggressive. Uh, let's get in a glass. Uh, a lot of bubbles streaming up. Looks fairly carbonated. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, a lot of roasted malt, chocolate. It's got a spiciness to it. They use a uh, they use a size uh, Czech Czechoslovakia size hops in this. It smells very pleasant. It's got a nice spicy smell to it too. But mostly the roasted malt and chocolate is what I'm getting on the nose here, guys. Cheers. Oh yeah, big roasty. Big roasty malt chocolate taste to this. More roasty malt than chocolate to me. There's a lot more chocolatey beers out than this. But this one is pretty roasty. Got a real sweet caramel toppy roastiness on this. Very pleasant. Not getting the alcohol at all. Six and a half percent too. Very, very, very nice. I like this one. This is probably going to be a winner, guys. It's got the perfect balance for the hops. The spiciness of the size hops and the roastiness of the malt blend very, very well together on this. This is the first time I've had this beer too, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I think I've got one more of the Lost Coast beers in there. I hope it's as good as this one. Pretty tasty, guys. We're out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let it warm up. Let each other have sips on and be right back. We'll do the final chug. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left in the glass here. This is very pleasant. I enjoy this thoroughly. Got a very, very nice roasted caramel taste. Final chug, guys. Oh yeah, much better than yesterday's beer. A lot more, a lot more taste, a lot more caramel, a lot more toffee, not quite as thin, uh, definitely not watery to me. The alcohol is just as well hidden. Very pleasant, very pleasant, guys. Uh, I'm going to give this, if it had the date on the bottle, uh, I would probably come up a notch, but 
We're going to give it a 7. It's a B plus. It's, it's a good solid B beer. It's a better than average beer to me it is. So that's what I'm going to give it. Red beer comes in at 87 overall and a 92 in the style. Pretty good marks in the style there guys. And beer out it comes up with the 85 on their scale. So uh, I consider that a B beer. So we're right in the B and B plus area there guys. So, I would probably give it, uh, I'd probably give it a name honest if it, if it had a date on the bottle or the label. So. That's the only thing that I can fault it over. I've had a little bit better than this, but for the style, which is an English brown ale, it's not supposed to be overbearing or overpowering like us uh, Americans like it. So for the English style, which is usually pretty subdued, it's a winner. It's definitely above average beer, guys. So that being said, I'm rounding on. If you see it, pick it up, give it a shot. Especially if you like that type of beer. I, I enjoy it every now and then. I like those nut browns and English brown ale. So, pretty tasty. Just got to watch out. Some of them can be a little on the thin side over here. I'm sure they're a lot better over there, guys. So, if you're over there, guys, enjoy it. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. Let's do it together.